Hi, my name is Austin Sharp. And I'm Kristen Watson. And we would like to invite you to our upcoming production called Curtains. It's a thrilling murder mystery that takes place on a Broadway show. And I play Lieutenant Frank Chaffee. And I play Georgia Hendricks. We would like to invite you to come out and see it, which is both this weekend and next weekend, 6th, 7th, 13th, and 14th. It has tons of amazing music, and we have really enjoyed bringing these characters to life. Tickets are only available on GoFans. We hope to see you there. Wilson County Rebels, it's Thursday, May the 5th, Cinco de Mayo, and I'm Evan Reed with your morning announcement. Some congratulations to Seth Thompson, Lucas Cohen, who took first place at the Fun Fishing Trail Tournament that took place at Lake Wadawi on April 30th, 2022. They caught five fish for a winning total weight of 16.6 .6 pounds. That's a lot of fish. Um, are you wanting to get in shape, stay in shape, or have more energy in general? Um, cross country may be the fit for you. You don't have to be a good runner to join. The cross country team is now accepting anyone with the motivation and drive to improve physically and mentally. Cross country season starts the first day of school and goes all the way until the first of May, no, November. Um, join the cross country team today and do the best you be the best you can be. Um, see Coach Lawler in room 138 for more information. Juniors and sophomores, please check your class of Google Classroom for an exciting opportunity with the CCA. Students can enroll in industrial systems um, and earn high school and college credit while gaining experience in a high wage in demand field. And we're talking AEK right here in HC and Carroll counties with just a few years experience. Um, so check out your Google Classroom and fill out the survey. This week is Teacher Appreciation Week, and we like to give a shout out to all the teachers who are here for us every day. If you have a favorite teacher, then go tell them how much you appreciate them. I'm sure it means a lot to them. As everyone is aware, um, we're coming up on the end of the school year. Everyone remember to try and finish strong. Um, give your best effort in the classroom and the tests you take. Also remember that the rules in the student handbook still apply the last few weeks of school. We've made it this far, and let's not get any trouble now, or let's not get in any more trouble if you've already missed that boat. Fast pitch softball trials will be held May 9th and May 10th at 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. You will need a current sports physical and a signing liability waiver um, before you can try out. Please see Coach, Ka Coach Padgett in room 400 if you're interested in trying out. Freshman reward day will be May 13th. Requirements for attending are as follows. Freshman dues must be paid. You must be passing all your classes last semester and you must be passing them this semester. No ISS or OSS, no more than three unexcused absences and assign parent permission form. If you think you qualify, but then receive a permission form, please complete your form in the class of 2025 Google Classroom and Ms. Wiseheart will respond to your school email. Our first yearbook distribution event will be held Tuesday, May 17th, during fourth block. All underclassmen who have purchased a yearbook will be invited to attend this event and pick up your yearbook, eat snacks, and sign other people's yearbooks. No yearbooks will be sold between now and May 17th. Seniors, your yearbooks will be distributed during the senior luncheon the morning of May 17th. If any remain after May 17th, they'll be sold on May 19th and May 20th. Dual enrollment course registration is going on from now and fall, sem fall semesters, summer and fall semesters. Summer classes are filling up quickly, so see Ms. Brown to register. You're not registered until you have signed up with Ms. Brown 110. Summer school 2022 will be held May 27th to June 29th, including Mondays from 8 to 12 each day. The cost is free and spaces are limited, so 
Go on, sign up. Students need in summer school should pick up the packet in the counselor's office. Students need to complete the form and return it and give it to Miss Officer or Miss Peavy. There's no cost for summer school. The induction ceremony is Friday, May 6th at 10.30 in the Fine Arts Building. Parents are invited to attend and new band members need to stop by Mount Smith's room to get more information about it. It's time for attendance appeals. Um, students that have more than three ICs absences will need to pick up a yellow attendance appeal form from the guidance or attendance office, complete it, and return it to Ms. Coy in the attendance office. That's three unexcused absences in any of your classes, and each class is looked at separately. Deadlines to turn the forms are for seniors, May 6th, and underclassmen, um, they're due at May 13th. Students will not earn credit for classes if they're passing, if they have more than three unexcused absences. This can mean students don't graduate, or they have to go to summer school and make up missing credits. Students attend, um, uh, before or after school tutoring session at a teacher's discretion in order to recoup one of these um, unexcused absences. Attending one session will result in a principal's excuse for the absence to replace the unexcused absence. This must be email Ms. Coy or your counselor to get that principal's excuse. Honda Lock has partnered with the College and Career Academy to offer job opportunities to students. This is work in paint, assembly, and plastic injection molding. You must be 16 and over to apply, and there are two Monday and Friday shift options for students who have enrolled in work-based learning or for those who have not. Hourly wage is $14.10 an hour with the opportunity to be hired full-time. Interested students should email Mr. Saxon. That's all for the announcements today, and remember, it's a great day to be a Hurlston County Rebel. Woo!